Hey you guys, this is Larry. Um, did not record yesterday's run with the other configuration. Uh, I didn't want to have to drop the camera in case I set myself on fire or something, you know. I uh, wasn't sure if I was going to have to spring into action or whatever. So anyway, I didn't record it and it wasn't long before I realized that I really didn't need to record it because uh, the ABV was just coming in way too low. So we're on to a different configuration here. You can see I pulled the heads uh, trap off. Uh, I had the heads trap sort of um, set up with the return, the exterior return line um, to the lower micro thumper. And of course this is, this is very similar. Um, but I don't have the dual condensers. Uh, what I did was I took the small baby deflegmator off and installed the much larger four to hopefully get enough knockdown power because I need to get this thing into 100% reflux for an extended period of time so that we can build up, shift enough alcohol into the thumper and also into the micro thumper underneath. Um, this setup is a little bit different. My return line that goes back to the micro is basically the same at the bottom. It's all the same at the bottom, except that I'm using this big segment here and also this three inch T reduced down for the drain. And what I like about this setup is that I was able to put a viewing port on it. So I got a sight glass in there and that will allow me and you can't really see it right now because of uh, the reflection and I don't have a flashlight in there, but that's gonna allow me to see where the liquid level is on that upper plate. And it will also allow me to watch the fluid make its way to the drain. I'm very curious about that. So the viewing port is gonna be really helpful. Uh, previously, the other head was only the three inch head with two bubble caps in it and it did not have an internal downcomer in there. So I was only able to get return to back to the lower section on the exterior drain. So in this case, this one is gonna have a plate with five bubble caps, an interior downcomer, which will feed reflux back to the pack section and also split and return reflux to enrich, enrich the micro thumper down low. So that's what the differences are here is that I'm gonna be returning reflux here as well. Um, I ran out of room here on the ceiling like I always do. So we've got a torpedo top that I've capped at the top here and um, just use the viewing port um, for all, to throw some fittings on. It looks a little wonky, but it's very stable. It's very strong, and I actually kind of like it in that it allows me to more adequately plumb the condenser um, so that my parrot floats nice and straight. So all of these little fittings here, you know, allow me to make really nice adjustments on that. So I, I do kind of like that, although, it, like I said, it's, it's a bit busy looking, but it, it's okay, you know. The, the configuration itself is not really about the configuration. Uh, it's just about trying to get the speed and the purity level. Um, so as we move back down here, uh, I put a torpedo top on top of the little micro thumper down here because I had to utilize my viewing port solution for the return drain. So if I put the torpedo top on, it gives me a side glass here and then I can look down inside and see what's happening in there. Now the thing is, is I've got enough room to put another plate here. Uh, and I will, so that'll give me, you know, the distillation off the primary, the distillation off the humper thumper, the distillation off of the first micro thumper, and then I'll have one more distillation right here. But right now I'm going to leave that one out because I really want to see how this return sort of behaves. 
and uh, we'll go from there. And also, hopefully, you know, if it does really, really well, then certainly I've got the room to add the plate. There's no reason to not add it. So, but I'm going to hold off on that because I, I want to see in there. I want to see what's going on. And also, that you know, that's why I'm pretty, pretty excited about this arrangement here because I can see everything in there. So it'll be cool. Um, anyway, that's the... Uh, that's the plan now, you know, and again, I, I don't know how well this thing's going to do. I mean, um, maybe it'll be, you know, just not enough, and that's okay too, but I'm, I'm really curious to see, to see how well it does. Uh, also, when I stripped all that other stuff um, off of the configuration, it really simplified my cooling because now I've only got one deflegmator rather than two, so I've got you know just the cooling lines for the single reflux condenser and for the product condenser, and then also by using this configuration, also um, I it, it pulled a ton of two-inch clamps off of the assembly and you know those two inch clamps those are like 750 a piece you know and then all the seals and everything too so to some degree there might even be some savings um on a configuration like that but again it, it, it's not that's not the issue here i'm just trying to get my my four liters per hour off of a off of a two inch packed section now <laughs> i don't know i could keep adding these plates on here till i finally only have you know a little a little four inch packed section or maybe an eight inch there you go let's let's just ultimately have a little packing jammed in there and then as long as i can get four liters an hour then i can say okay i got four liters an hour off of a two inch pack section i don't know but anyway we'll see how it goes so i'm pretty uh pretty excited about all the experimentation that i can do with this stuff but um you know, if four liters an hour is a pipe dream, then, you know, so be it. At least I'm able to, you know, generate a level of experience here that I ordinarily wouldn't have. So, anyway, okay, that's it for now. And um, I'm not going to post a video on the run, uh, not the initial run anyway, but uh, if I can get it together and everything works out okay, then certainly I'll, I'll, I'll put together a video, but I don't want to be caught with my pants down holding the camera if something's going wrong. So anyway, that'll do. Over and out.